Hello, crafty friends. You found Trish with me. And today's junk journal, um, Dollar Tree junk journal. It's by, it's, ah, little, little. It's hosted by Paper Terrace, and I've got a few supplies around here, and I'm hoping they work. I've dug out, I cleaned out my cabinet in my craft room, and it was full of paint, but the paint is, uh, hard in the bottle. And so, see this? And it doesn't move. <laughs> so the color I would like to use is yellow. So I added some water and I'm just keep on shaking it to see I'm waiting. Um, I did a collage and then I did another beautiful collage. I love collage. And I did another collage. In this page, I put a pag, a, a pag, a tag, and I um, gessoed it. So I'm back to gessoing today. I know that you just need a process. And you want to see it, I'm sure. Because, God forbid, I want to see it. And I'm doing it. And so, I'm going to gesso today. And my brush had a little yellow paint. So, we'll see how that works. I think it'll get off. And I'm going to go both ways with my gesso. Up and down. And then side to side. Just to give it a little extra texture. And then I'll dry it some with my heat gun. I did put water on my brush before I um, started to gesso. I um, bought the gesso when I first started junk journaling last month. Well, I guess in January, because it I did do junk journal January. Um, I was a chicken. To try, I just tried it one time, but now I've decided I really like it. It gives you a nice, uh, what do you call it, background. You know, it puts the book pages in a different perspective because it makes the words go to the background like look at how much they're in the background and and you can make it um as covered or and add extra layers as you like and so I've just backgrounded all I did find out that you can't whoops you can't close it because if you close it it'll stick together like glue only it'll rip and so I won't do that anymore because I've already tried that, obviously. I And gesso should be better for the paint, but I don't know if the paint's going to work. And so we're going to find out. I'm going to dry the gesso with my glue gun. Here we go. I've been drying my glue with my glue gun to get it to be fast. I'm going to add a pocket to this page with one of my coffee dyes file folders I cut. Oop, not dry. So I'll keep on drying. I will keep on drying it. If you hear my dog barking in the background, it's because of the blow dryer or the heat dryer. Okay, I think that's good. I did tea dye, look at, or coffee dye, I should call it. Look at that beauty. I coffee dyed it. What is this? This is one of my file folders. Oh my God, I did a great job. Um, I am gonna just give it a couple more minutes. I'm gonna, glue, I'm gonna glue this right on the edge and put a tuck in there. I guess I could move this to dry the rest of the way. I got so many scrap papers. But this is a junk journal process video. I'm not gonna, um, I did this, but I'm not gonna do these because these are the ones that I've, I'm going to, um, put on the corners of the paper. But I thought I might, um, try a little paint. I don't really want to collage, and then I could also, um, let's see if this yellow paint works. Oh, it I just wish it would. Let's see how it works. See, it is kind of yellow, but I think it's really wet. And I hate, yeah, it's not dry yet. All right, we're gonna close the paint back up. We're not gonna paint. We will um, just stamp. We will stamp with, I got this old honeybee. <laughs> and now I'm talking old. It's an old, um, an old stamp set and it has dies with it but why don't we just 
um, stamp a honeycomb and some bees flying around. That sounds like a great idea. Excuse my arm. And I got there and I got the bumblebees and I'm going to use early espresso ink. It's kind of like um, walnut stain, only it's a Stampin' Up! brand because I own it. Um, I don't own, um, the only owner I have, oh, I guess I'm going to commit right now to which side I'm going to, oh, shit, I put it right on the wet paint. Of course I did. I'm going to move that out of our way. I'm going to put the hive down here. I know beehives are sometimes in branches, but I don't have a branch. So I'm going to put the beehive, and then I'm going to put some bees flying around. Bees are flying because I thought that might be cute. And I have a thing about three. Oh, that's adorable. And three is my number. I like odd numbers and five would be too many. And I'm going to put this on the gesso page as soon as the gesso is dry. And even the dryer did not dry it. I will say that I have a stamp cleaner. Um, I know that I've been watching junk journals. This is a wet side. Yes, I should. I made my own. I found it on Pinterest, the stamp cleaner solution. Mine has peppermint in it because I really love peppermint smell and taste. And I'm going to clean my stamps to get the ink off. It just makes them last longer. And look, at sometimes it still even um, stains. I know that stays on stains, but also um, tuxedo men mento ink. That also stands. So I'm going to get this out of my way. Put it where I keep it. I'm going to put these um, stamps away. And we will get out our journal and see. Nope, not dry yet. But you know what? Let's take this and dry it. Yeah, it's not. It might be a little tacky. So we're going to add this right to this page. And I'm going to put my, this glue came from Pop Secret. And, you, or not Pop Secret, I keep calling it Pop Secret. It's really Pop Shelf. But it's such a fun store. It's a variety store. And it, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to tell you what. It is a fabulous variety store. It has art supplies. Like it had a pink... I already own mine, but my friend bought a pink mat like I have for $5. What a great deal. I paid more than that at Tuesday morning, and Tuesday morning closed here. I don't know if all the Tuesday mornings in the world closed, but in Kentucky, they closed up. So see, there's that, and we can put, it's almost too um, deep, isn't it? I did have a tag, but I think this tag is too deep, so I'm going to have to put it someplace else. So we're going to have to make a new tag or some new journaling cards to fit in there. So I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna get my index cards. Of course, they're from the Dollar Tree, it is the Dollar And I'm actually gonna glue them together. Those one, what do you call these? They're so thin, I can hardly stand myself. They're so thin, I can't. I gotta, I'm, I've been doubling all of them. Because thin is just, you can't even like put my distress ink on it because it's so thin that it just bends. And my glue, I kind of like it. It's real thick glue, but um, I can, and you know what? I just, it doesn't matter which side I glue really because the writing side is the, I leave the lines for the writing side and I decorate the other side. And so I figured, whoop. I could either, there, so we're gonna decorate this side. And I figured we could collage because my whole journal is about collaging. I really, really, really love collaging. So I've got some old music pages. I, listen, I'm not even gonna say it, but when my church, one time I was there cleaning up and it was an old music book, and they were going to get rid of it. Here it is. Look at it. And it's from 1994-95. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. So, I just keep it in my supplies. And um, it's one of the supplies I keep on using. And it's got the best color. 
It's almost better than coffee dyeing paper. So, yeah. Here. It's much easier to do this. Oh, I've lost my mind. Lost my mind, friends. There. I'll, I'll trim around when I get to it. When I get to it, I really love my book pages. These are the book pages from the book that I ripped out. <laughs> I think this looks like it should go right there. Doesn't that look perfect? Yep, sure does. Sure does. And this one can come right over here. Sometimes I wish I would have coffee dyed them. They're kind of yellowish, but they're nothing like that one. There. There's that. We're going to keep on collaging. Let's see what else I got. This is from Amazon Packaging. Oh, my God. My husband gets something almost every day, and I can't say anything because, oh, look at this. is from a math book. I taught school, and um, I was cleaning my attic, and I went upstairs to the attic, you know, which makes great sense. And, oh, my gosh, there's so much junk up there. And there were, there were old math workbooks and old math, um, oh, what do you call them? Teacher math books. Um, and I learned that those are perfect to use. Perfection. I need some of that brown paper. Let's see. I'm looking at, I have a stash sitting next to me on a little stool. And I thought it had some brown paper. But I don't see any. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I will keep on looking. I know I have some. Hmm. All right, let me um, look deeper. A little deeper. All right, I found some. It's over there in a the big pile. I make my husband save it. So, I got me some. Yeah, he doesn't, he said I, he, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and I just laugh and I say, okay, whatever you want. I'll let him call me a hoarder. It's just all the junk. Like I've saved all the envelopes that I've received since January. I can't help it. I just can't help it. It's, I might need them. And I've saved all the paper since January, the brown packaging. And I watched people use Tyvek. They call it Tyvek, but it looks like an Amazon package. Well, I don't know how to get it off the plastic stuff. So I can't seem to use it. So I need something. I need a little something right there. I really don't want to use, um, I guess I could. Listen, look at this. It's toilet paper. It's toilet paper tissue rolls. I don't know if anybody else acts like me, but this is a junk journal. And if it's a junk journal, I'm using junk, which is stuff that I would throw away. And so that's what I'm using, friends. And since then, it's not trash anymore. I'm, it's called recycling for the best of reason. Okay. Let's uh, get a little more glue a little farther. Okay. And we'll see how that does. And we'll just get a little piece for right there. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't bother me that other people might not be using their toilet paper tissue wrapper. <laughs> I guess I'm going to keep on using it. It too, it's it looks too nice in my collages for me to you not have it. So let me get all this garbage back down in my stash. <laughs> oh, I know. My husband's like, are you ever going to clean up in there? I said, I did. I'm trying. I'm trying to be a clean woman. I can't help it. So here's these. And they need a little tag. And I have a little tag punch. Look at, oh my God, this is old. It retired years and years ago. But I had an old piece of yellow that matches. So I'm going to put tag on these. So then I can, um, I can put tags on these. So I can stick them in my journal, friends. Ooh, that's a great idea. 
so I'm going to put some glue. And I'm going to put these just how I like them. Okay, we're going to put this one right here. And I'm not, I am a messy gluer. You know, I taught school all those years and my room was kind of a mess all the time. I figured out that they were just as messy as the teacher. And so I taught K1 and 2. And so, yeah, we're messy. I don't care. Nobody cares. We had a good time. We learned a lot. And that's why we were there. And if people said something, I said, you know, we came here to learn a lot. And if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. I do have a rag. Um, and I am trying to keep myself clean. I wish that yellow paint would work. I'm going to try it. You know what? Maybe in my first stash, let's put these up here. These are going to be the journal cards. I will um, trim them in a second. This was my first. Oh, my God. I still have paint. Listen, I still have my good paint from the Dollar Tree. I'm getting it out. Getting it out. Okay, we'll add some paint to our gesso pages. Let's move these up here to dry before we wrap corn around them. And we'll add a little pretty paint. And because this paint is in a little tube, I looked for more when I was at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen it again. I saw it that one time, and that was it. And... I'm just going to give it a little color. My poor brush will probably be dead after this. Okay. And now I'm going to get some black. And here's that black look. It won't move. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. I can't even tell you when or where those paints came from, but man, I wish they worked. I surely wish they worked. Okay, not so good, so we'll add some more. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but it's okay. It's just a little drip. We'll just put it right there. And why not? Oh, of course it won't. Okay, let's see if I can get, yeah, the black's going to come off. I'm rinsing the brush, and then I'm going to put more yellow, because now the black is prominent, and I didn't really want black to be prominent. Yellow. Okay, I did rinse the brush, so it should mostly be yellow. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And so now we are done with the paint. And because we are done, I'm going to put the brush in the water. Now the water is nice and gray. I think we need something right there. And because we need something, I'm getting get my stamps back out. I have an old, um, it's called Celebrate Sunflowers. I saw it on eBay, so I know it's still available. It's just not available from Stampin' Up. And, um... I'm just going to stamp it right there. I'm going to use my Early Espresso matches my honeybee um, hive. There. I hope it turns out. Ooh, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Perfect. And I'm not going to color it. I'm going to leave it just like that. Ha! Perfect. Okay. I'm going to close this. I'm going to move it. I'm going to clean my stamp. Because that's what I do. Remember, I'm a stamper by default. I've been a stamper for 25 years. I love stamps. I love stamping. Um, it's just my favorite. It's always been my favorite. I would guess it's always going to be my favorite. Look at this is the hardest part about stamping. Putting it back in the where it goes, how it matches. Okay, so this page is finished. We got. We have to. Um, Round our corners. Oh, look at that. We'll have to add a little. Oh, shoot. That's so close I can't. I'm going to have to. Well, this is not. Did, what What's happening is it's not um, getting in there. I can't round that one because it's too close. I'll have to use my scissors. It's still kind of wet. 
and I didn't trim. You notice that I didn't trim? I will as soon as I'm done with this. I will trim with my scissors. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I'm a messy girl. I don't mind. I don't think my husband minds either. Because he never says anything about any of it. He says nobody cares. He says our house is clean. Compared to other people's, it's really clean. Here's the one I need to round. There. Let's get that little paper. Okay. And do I have any more paper? Of course I do. And it, the key is to put your scissors right next to your card. And then you can cut the extra paper off. And so these are going to sneak right in here. Oh, apparently I'm a terrible gluer while I'm on the video. There's another one. That, it's the other one, yeah. Okay, this one can go right in here. Oh, wait. Okay, it worked. Okay, and then this one. See how I put the um, tabs in different spots? On purpose? I'm trying to be smart about my stall. See how I can do that? They're lined up. So you can see two of them. So there's that pretty page. And it just has to dry. And we are done for today. It's just a process video. So video for um, Buzz into Spring. Oh, no, no, no. We are doing Dollar Tree. Um, Paper Tears Junk Dollar Tree Junk Journal. Um, I... I'm just giving you a process video. I hope you enjoyed my process. I um, appreciate you watching. Thanks for joining me on my channel. I'm a newbie since January, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.